Now the fear of success is actually a really interesting one because if you ask most entrepreneurs, are you afraid of success? They would say, no, absolutely not. I, you know, I want everything that success will bring me. I want the money. I want the choice. I want the freedom. I want to be um, in that dream life. I want all of those things. But there is a part of your subconscious that's saying, hmm, yes, okay, but who would you have to be to have all of that success? So how would you look at life now? Would it differ? Maybe the people you have in your life would change. Maybe there's certain circumstances you would no longer tolerate. Maybe you'd have to show up as a different person. You'd have to really walk your talk. And therefore, things like your lifestyle might change. You know, your diet, your, your working out regime. And also, when you become more successful, you are more visible. And you open yourself up to people judging you, criticizing you, being jealous of what you're achieving. And there is fear with, within that. Because oftentimes, you're moving away from social groups and forming new social groups. So everything is changing and shifting. And while the conscious mind really wants that, we want that dream and we want that change. You know, the ego, the um, the false sense, the, the stuff that's going on in the subconscious, it's terrified of change because it just doesn't know what to expect. So let's get into this and let's see if there's any sneaky fears of um, success hidden away for you. Let's just get rid of that. Okay, so tapping on the side of a hand. Even though. I have a fear of being successful. I deeply and completely accept how I feel. I accept all the choices I've made. And I choose to love myself anyway. Tapping on the top of the head. I have this strange fear of being successful. Of what this is going to mean for my life. I'm worried about the person I'll become. I know she's going to be amazing. But I know in my heart I'll make different decisions. There's people I'll need to move away from. There's people I'll need to let go of. There's circumstances I can no longer tolerate. I really want success but I'm terrified of the change. I don't want to be alone. Connection is so important to me. Relationships and community is so important to me. So I'm worried about the changes that could come up. The changes I know have to happen. I want to be inspired by the people around me. I want to spend time with positive people. So I know some changes have to be made. I know it's time for me to enforce some more loving boundaries. And I'm scared to do that. I want success. But I'm scared about the changes. I'm scared to be more visible. To be in the public eye. For people to talk about me behind my back. To judge me. To criticise me. I'm opening myself up to so much. I'm really scared. I know I want all of these things. I want success. I want money, choice and freedom. I want to make a difference. But I am scared. I've been holding myself back. I've been self-sabotaging. Every time I get close to success, I sabotage. I know I'm procrastinating. I'm just scared. I know I need to let this go because this is my time. I love helping people. I love making a difference in people's lives. I love what I do. 
and I feel so lucky to have my own business. It's time to stop playing small. It's time to release this fear of success. I'm excited to become that woman. With my whole heart, I am so excited. It's going to be amazing to help that many people. I release my fear of success. I can deal with whatever life throws at me. I am strong and I'm capable. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to do this. I'm so thankful for my courage. I'm so thankful for all the opportunities and wonderful people that come my way. I am brave. I am free. I am full of wonder. I am full of excitement. I am full of joy. I am full of passion. I am safe. I am always safe. Okay, nice deep breath in for me, in through the nose and out through the mouth. And just see what comes up for you when you think about actually having everything you have ever wanted. And if there's any part of you that goes, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Actually, that person might not be in my life anymore. And how do I feel about that? How do I feel about dealing with the transition of this person's really connected in my life to actually, I need to let them go. Um, so just things like that, just watch out for those, those sneaky little things that can actually hold you back and stop you from becoming everything that you deserve to be. So um, as always, any questions, come and tag me in the Facebook group. Talk to you soon. Bye.